So my house is old. And when I say old, I'm not just talking like 100 years old. I'm talking my house was built before the United States was a country. <laughs> so my house is really, really old. And, you know, it's in pretty good condition considering. But what I hate about this house and really a lot of houses in New England is the fieldstone foundations because these things leak like a sieve. Now, my last home, I had this issue too in terms of water getting into the basement. It was more severe with this house, and I'll explain why. But at my last house, which was only mid-1800s, I think, lead like a sieve, and the, and the way I was able to solve it is actually pretty, pretty simple here. So let me show you some fun materials. So this stuff is amazing. So this is big gap filler, you spray it in and it, it's like a foam and it slowly grows and fills. And what I love about this is it gets into all the nooks and crannies as it expands. So to stop the water from leaking in, first thing I do is I go through and I actually spray this stuff. Sorry, my lighting is terrible down here. I spray this stuff in the little cracks between the field stone and that will actually expand and get into all the little nooks and crannies that are hard to get with just the cement when you put the cement on. So I'm actually going to take a knife and I'm going to chip away where it's kind of bulging out to try to have more of a flat surface or possibly even a little concave. And then I'm going to come in with some hydraulic cement. I'll show you if I've done a little bit of work already up here where it was the worst. So the funny thing is, so I have two expansions, two extensions of the house that were built and they're just crawl spaces and they're horrible to work with. But you can actually see there where I've applied some cement. We actually had a hole that I did not know about that was the size of, I don't know, a softball that went straight outside. <laughs> like, I'm surprised we didn't have more critters living down here. But explains why we kept finding snakes in our basement. So this was when it rained, the water would just flow down. And actually, it was the worst part. We would actually get not really standing water, but maybe standing water in the far corner and where it all drains to. But we definitely, we have a lot of dampness. And we still have a little bit right here because I have more cracks to fill. But I think water was just gushing in here. And we were like, what the hell is going on? And then I finally got down here. This is, this is a while back. And I looked, I looked in there and I was just like... What is that? Somebody took a pair of old jeans, must have been the previous owner, and shoved it in the hole. That's why we never actually saw, I mean, we never took a good look down here, but we didn't see light shining in because there was just a pair of jeans. But that jean, the, the pair of jeans wasn't doing anything. That's not how you seal a foundation. Jeans, pants. Somebody shoved pants in the hole. So I took it out, and I ended up putting rocks in there and brick just to give it some support. Filled in little gaps with the the great stuff or whatever it's called, the foam insulation, expanding foam in insulation, and then put the hydraulic cement. And I filled that in and we no longer get gushing water in. We still got a little bit because I need to come here and do the hydraulic cement on all these parts that I filled all along here. I got to do a little bit of work there. And just so you know, that's the stuff I use. <clears throat> Excuse me. And basically, I have to do it at every single part of our basement. Like, I won't lie. This is an ongoing project that I'll be doing for years to come. Basically, every time I go to the store, I pick up a few more cans of the spray stuff. I've already gone through three dozen cans, at least, because I don't use it just for this. I use it for more like its traditional purpose, which is, you know, I spray it up into... I don't think there's any right there, but I spray it up into the space here because this is just gushing air. Actually, underneath our front door right here, I had to spray a ton of it. I'll try to get you in there. Because we had active drafts coming down. It's so cold. <laughs> Excuse me. I just got a spider web up my nose. All oh, these disgusting sounds. So I've been in the crawl space, so I'm like covered in dust. It's disgusting. And I can't breathe really well. Well, this is going to make a very awesome video. So this is my solution for sealing up the foundation, old field stone foundation. And, man, I'm like breathing in cobwebs here. My apologies. But that's, that's, that's what I've done. And it worked at my old house. The old, my previous home, I, should, I say old, but it was actually a younger house. But my previous house, 
had this and I was able to fill up the, seal up the entire foundation like this and it never saw another drop of water. But again, this is an advanced case of horribleness. But I'm going to do it and I'm going to slowly fill all this in and cover it over with cement. Now ideally we need to work on drainage on the outside too, but that's an even bigger project. So I'm going to have to dig down and put some, uh, you know, proper, proper drainage. But for the future, for the future I'll do that as well because you can't just do this. You really need to address it on the other side of the foundation too where possible. But to go really deep I'm going to need heavy machinery. Though if in the meanwhile I may go out and dig just a more shallow drainage. But that's for another video. I just wanted to show you my technique for filling in fieldstone foundation and the joys of owning a 250 year old house. 250 plus year old house. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for joining me on this crazy old house journey. Bye bye.